ugly truth, the cursed thorn. In a kingdom shrouded in sorrow and desolation, the tale of ugly truth, the cursed thorn unfolded. This was a story unlike any other, where darkness clung to every corner, and the promise of redemption seemed a distant dream. The cursed thorn, a sinister relic with a twisted history, was at the heart of the kingdom's misery. Instead of granting beauty and hope, this malevolent thorn had the power to bring forth ugliness and despair. The curse it cast infected the entire realm, transforming its once graceful inhabitants into grotesque and monstrous creatures. The kingdom had become a haunted place, and its people were trapped in a never-ending nightmare. At the center of this bleak realm stood a grand but forsaken castle. Within its shadowy halls wandered the beast, a tortured soul created by the curse itself. He was not a prince cursed to become a monster but a creature born from the very malevolence of the thorn. He yearned for redemption, a chance to break free from the curse's cruel grip. In the midst of this cursed kingdom, a heroine emerged, a young woman named Alara. She possessed a spirit different from the typical fairy tale protagonist. Instead of curiosity or the desire for love, her heart burned with compassion and an unyielding determination to unearth the origins of the curse. Alara ventured into the cursed realm, her bravery unwavering. Her quest was not driven by the pursuit of romantic love, but by a thirst for understanding and a need to confront the dark forces that had wrought such suffering. She was aware that the curse concealed more malevolence than met the eye, a curse born of profound pain, holding the kingdom and its inhabitants in relentless torment. As Alara delved deeper into the mysteries of the curse, she encountered the tormented beast, a creature of anguish whose once human form had been marred by the malevolent magic of the thorn. Within his tormented gaze, she glimpsed a flicker of humanity, a remnant of the man he had once been. Together, they embarked on a treacherous journey that was not a quest for romantic love, but a harrowing voyage of understanding and redemption. They navigated through the twisted corridors of the cursed castle, each step bringing them closer to the painful truths that had given birth to the curse. Their journey was a descent into the darkest corners of their own souls, a reckoning with inner demons and long-buried regrets. As they explored their shared past, they uncovered the choices and actions that had set the curse in motion. It was a painful confrontation, but one that was essential to their quest for salvation. Through empathy, forgiveness, and acts of self-sacrifice, Alara and the beast sought to conquer the ugliness that had consumed them. They wrestled with the haunting question of whether it was possible to break a curse that was, in essence, the embodiment of their own transgressions. Ugly truth, the cursed thorn delved deep into themes of redemption, inner beauty, and the profound consequences of one's actions. It offered a darker and more introspective narrative, focusing not on the transformative power of love, but on the journey of self-discovery and the painful yet transformative power of confronting the ugly truth. In the end, the curse was not shattered by a magical kiss or a declaration of love. It was vanquished by the profound act of acknowledging one's own flaws, seeking forgiveness, and choosing the path of redemption. As the curse dissipated, the kingdom began to heal, and its inhabitants were liberated from their monstrous forms. Alara, the compassionate young woman who had dared to confront the darkest truths, found her place as a beacon of hope and change in a world that had learned the power of confronting the ugly truth, embracing redemption and discovering the beauty that lay within.